Hi, my name is Rick Marazan. I'm the Small Game Program Coordinator, uh, and I'm based here in Palmer, but our program is, has statewide responsibility. In 2016, we started our statewide brood survey effort that is entirely run by volunteers and their highly trained pointing dogs. It's proven to be highly effective in monitoring ptarmigan and grouse population fluctuations and overall abundance. These data also provide an accurate estimate of just how abundant these upland bird populations will be when hunters go afield two to three weeks after the surveys are completed. But our brood surveys with a number of volunteers up on Eagle Summit off the Steese Highway, along the Denali Highway, and up in Delta Junction. The project has since expanded to include Sheep Mountain, Hatcher Pass, the Kenai Mountains, and Chugach State Park. Generally, a volunteer goes out with their trained pointing dog that's gone through a steadiness test to make sure that the dog's not going to grab live birds. To locate family groups of breeding adult birds or adults with their chicks, that dog handler goes out with their dog along with a data collector and runs the transect. When a brood is found, the hen and each individual chick is counted. We run our dog evaluation and steadiness tests in late May throughout the month of June, and then the surveys themselves occur the last two weeks of July. I'm Meg Burgett, and this is Lowell Burgett. And we're volunteers for the Alaska Fishing Game Small Game Program a Ptarmigan Brood Survey. Normally some elevation climb associated with the transects and, and you can get up in the areas where you're looking for, you know, just, just the rock ptarmigan rather than the willow ptarmigan because you're climbing to the top of a mountain, it's nothing but rocks. But what a beautiful sight. It's just, it's just awesome. The program also offers a really good training opportunity for yeah. us. And that's uh, yeah. one of the reasons I think a lot of people volunteer is it's an opportunity to get our dogs out. A really exciting new development in 2021 is the ability to collect all of the volunteer time. And so with that money this year, we're talking about adding additional research projects, as well as the ability to expand other population assessment projects across the state. Annual brood survey summaries are published on ADF&G's website before the start of each season. 